hello how are you all friends i that i hope that you are all good today and today i am going to tell you a wonderful and very interesting story a good matchmaker as we all know english language is a very important language nowadays in the world so if you all want to learn to speak good english so for this all of you should listen to the english story and try to understand and try to speak if you listen to the english story for a few days and try to understand then i guarantee you that one day you will be able to speak and understand good english so let's start this story in a village called highbury there lived a young lady named emma woodhouse She was loved by her dad and everyone in town. Emma was 21 and a smart, cheerful person who made people happy. Her dad, Mr. Woodhouse, was kind but worried a lot. Emma's mom had passed away when she was little, so she and her dad were very close. She had a good life with a nice home, great friends, and lots of freedom to do what she liked. Emma's best friend, Miss Taylor, had recently married Mr. Weston from another village and Emma was excited to have a new friend nearby. Emma's days were busy and fun. She loved visiting her neighbors and chatting with them. She enjoyed being the center of attention at gatherings and made everyone smile. But underneath her happiness, Emma felt like there was something missing. She hadn't experienced romantic love yet. but she loved playing matchmaker for others. She had helped several couples find happiness, and now she wanted to find a match for her new friend, Harriet Smith. As days went by, Emma's plans for Harriet's future took shape. Little did she know that her matchmaking would lead her to learn important lessons about love and friendship. In Highbury, there was a man named Mr. Weston. He was a friendly and cheerful gentleman who had recently moved to the village. Mr. Weston was liked by everyone because of his warm and kind nature. One day, Mr. Weston introduced his son, Frank Churchill, to the people of Highbury. Frank was a young man, about two or three and twenty, with a pleasant face and a lively spirit. He had a lot of energy and was full of enthusiasm. Emma. who loved meeting new people was excited to make the acquaintance of Mr. Weston's son. She was eager to see if Frank was as charming as his father. As soon as Frank arrived in Highbury, he made a good impression on everyone he met. He was friendly and polite, and his cheerful personality won the hearts of the villagers. Emma in particular found Frank intriguing. She was curious about him and wanted to know more. She wondered what kind of person he was and what brought him to Highbury. Over the next few days, Frank's presence in the village brought joy and excitement. He attended various social gatherings and seemed to enjoy himself immensely. Everyone admired his energy and found him to be a delightful addition to Highbury's social scene. As for Emma, she couldn't help but be charmed by Frank's company. She enjoyed their conversations and noticed how he seemed to fit in well with the people of Highbury. With each passing day, Emma's interest in Frank grew, and she looked forward to getting to know him better. Little did she know that Frank's arrival in Highbury would bring about unexpected events and lead to new adventures for her and her friends. In the cozy village of Highbury, Excitement filled the air as the day of Emma's birthday party arrived. Emma Woodhouse, with her cheerful nature, looked forward to celebrating with her dear friends. Emma's father, Mr. Woodhouse, was equally delighted to mark this special occasion. He wanted everything to be perfect, and he prepared a grand feast for the guests. As the clock struck the hour, the guests began to arrive at Hartfield. Emma's lovely home. Among them was Mr. Weston, who brought along his lively son, Frank Churchill. Emma was eager to spend time with her new friend and make his acquaintance. The party was filled with laughter, games, and merry conversations. Emma's closest friend, Miss Taylor, now Mrs. Weston, was also present. 
and Emma couldn't have been happier for her dear friend's happiness. As the guests enjoyed delicious treats and engaging company, Emma's spirits soared. She was the heart of the party, bringing joy to all who attended. At one point during the festivities, Frank Churchill surprised Emma with a thoughtful gift. It was a beautiful watercolor painting he had created himself, capturing a picturesque scene of Highbury. Emma was touched by the gesture and thanked him with a warm smile. She felt a special connection with Frank and hoped that their friendship would flourish. As the evening wore on, the party continued in high spirits. The guests danced and celebrated with great enthusiasm. Emma's heart swelled with happiness, surrounded by her loved ones. At the end of the night, as the guests bid their farewells, Emma felt a sense of contentment. The birthday party had been a resounding success, leaving cherished memories for all. After the joyful celebration of Emma's birthday, life in Highbury continued with its usual charm. Emma was content, surrounded by her close friends and family. But little did she know that a new acquaintance was about to enter her world. One day, as Emma was strolling through the village, she noticed a young woman she had never seen before. The stranger had a sweet and modest demeanor, and her name was Jane Fairfax. Jane had recently moved to Highbury to stay with her aunt, Miss Bates. She was polite and well-mannered, but seemed reserved, keeping her emotions hidden. Emma's curiosity was piqued, and she couldn't resist reaching out to the newcomer. She introduced herself warmly and welcomed Jane to Highbury. As they conversed, Emma discovered that Jane was highly accomplished. She excelled in music, drawing, and other arts, which impressed Emma greatly. However, there was an air of mystery about Jane. Emma sensed that there might be more to her story than meets the eye. But respecting Jane's privacy, she refrained from probing further. Emma found herself drawn to Jane's quiet grace and admired her talents. She hoped to forge a genuine friendship with this intriguing new acquaintance. As days turned into weeks, Emma and Jane spent more time together. They shared moments of laughter and explored the beauty of Highbury. Slowly, Jane's reserve began to thaw, and a genuine bond formed between the two young women. Yet Emma couldn't help but notice that Jane's circumstances were different from her own. She seemed to have a secret burden, and Emma wondered what could be weighing on her new friend's heart. As Emma's friendship with Jane deepened, she couldn't shake the feeling that there was much more to discover beneath the surface. She knew that in time, Jane might confide in her, and their connection would grow stronger. One sunny day in Highbury, a special visitor arrived at Hartfield. It was Mr. George Knightley, a close family friend of the Woodhouses. Mr. Knightley was a kind and wise gentleman whom Emma greatly respected. As Mr. Knightley walked into the house, he was greeted with warm smiles and a heartfelt welcome from Emma and her father, Mr. Woodhouse. Emma was particularly delighted to see him as she always enjoyed his company and valued his advice. The visit brought joy to Hartfield, and the day was spent in pleasant conversation and laughter. Mr. Knightley shared stories of his travels and offered his thoughts on various matters. Emma listened attentively, knowing that his insights were valuable. During the visit, Mr. Knightley also inquired about Jane Fairfax the new acquaintance Emma had recently made. He was curious to know more about her and expressed his hope that she would enjoy her time in Highbury. As the afternoon sun began to wane, Mr. Knightley bid farewell, promising to visit again soon. Emma and her father saw him off with warm wishes, feeling grateful for his friendship and the happiness he brought to their home. After Mr. Knightley's departure, Emma found herself reflecting on his visit. She appreciated his presence and the way he cared for their well-being. 
Emma knew that she was fortunate to have such a reliable and caring friend in Mr. Knightley. As the day drew to a close, Emma felt content and grateful for the wonderful visit. She looked forward to more moments of joy and friendship in the days to come, cherishing the bonds that made life in Highbury so special. In the charming village of Highbury, a surprising match was brewing. It all began when Emma's dear friend, Harriet Smith, revealed a secret to her. Harriet had developed feelings for someone in town. It was a young man named Robert Martin, who was a kind-hearted farmer. Harriet admired his gentle nature and genuine sincerity. Emma was intrigued by this revelation. She knew that Robert Martin was not from the same social class as Harriet, and she wondered if their match was suitable. In a moment of misguided kindness, Emma decided to intervene. She believed that Harriet deserved a better match, someone more elevated in society. Emma convinced Harriet to set aside her feelings for Robert and aim for someone more distinguished. With her matchmaking skills in action, Emma had someone else in mind for Harriet, Mr. Elton, the local vicar. She thought that Mr. Elton's social status and profession made him a perfect match for Harriet. Emma shared her plan with Mr. Elton, hoping he would take an interest in Harriet. However, to Emma's surprise, Mr. Elton had other ideas. He made it clear that he admired Emma herself, not Harriet. Emma was caught off guard by Mr. Elton's unexpected declaration. She had never thought of him in that way and didn't share the same feelings. Emma tried to gently let him down, but Mr. Elton seemed persistent in his affections. The situation became awkward, and Emma couldn't help but regret her matchmaking attempt. She realized that she had misjudged the situation and let her own assumptions cloud her judgment. As days passed, Emma felt guilty about her actions. She knew she had meddled in Harriet's feelings and made a mistake in her matchmaking efforts. Emma realized that she should have trusted Harriet's judgment and allowed her to follow her heart. With this newfound realization, Emma decided to step back and let things unfold naturally. She hoped that Harriet would find happiness on her own terms and not be influenced by Emma's well-intentioned but misguided interference. In the lovely village of Highbury, the focus shifted to Emma's dear friend, Harriet Smith. Harriet was a kind and gentle soul, beloved by many in the community. Emma valued her friendship with Harriet greatly and wanted to see her happy. She knew that Harriet had recently experienced a disappointment in her love life, and Emma felt responsible for it. As Emma spent more time with Harriet, she discovered her friend's sweet nature and genuine affection for others. Harriet had a simple and humble background, which made her all the more endearing. Emma admired Harriet's innocence and sincerity. She hoped to support her friend and help her find happiness, but she also understood the importance of allowing Harriet to make her own choices. Over time, Harriet opened up to Emma about her feelings and aspirations. Emma listened attentively and offered her guidance, trying her best not to impose her own views. As they strolled through Highbury together, Emma noticed that Harriet's heart seemed to be healing. She was becoming more confident and optimistic, and Emma felt a sense of pride in her friend's progress. Harriet's friendship brought a new perspective to Emma's life. It made her appreciate the simple joys and genuine connections that could be found in everyday interactions. As Emma and Harriet continued their journey of friendship, they shared laughter, tears, and moments of growth. Emma cherished Harriet's companionship and knew that their bond would remain strong. In the peaceful village of Highbury, an unexpected misunderstanding occurred, causing confusion among its residents. One day, Emma received a letter from a friend, Jane Fairfax. However, before Emma had a chance to read it, her father, Mr. Woodhouse, mistakenly misplaced the letter. Unaware of the mix-up, 
Emma assumed that Jane had intentionally kept her letter a secret. Emma couldn't understand why Jane would hide anything from her, as they had always been open and honest with each other. The misunderstanding weighed heavily on Emma's mind. She felt hurt and confused, thinking that her friendship with Jane might not be as strong as she had believed. Meanwhile, Jane, on the other hand, was completely unaware of the situation. She had no idea that her letter had been lost, and she continued with her usual kindness and warmth toward Emma. As days passed, the rift between Emma and Jane seemed to widen. Emma became distant, and Jane couldn't figure out what might have caused the sudden change in her friend's behavior. The situation grew more complicated when Mr. Knightley noticed the tension between Emma and Jane. He knew both of them well and was concerned about their strained relationship. Mr. Knightley decided to talk to Emma about the issue. He gently encouraged her to consider that there might be a misunderstanding, urging her not to jump to conclusions. Emma listened to Mr. Knightley's advice and realized that she might have misjudged Jane unfairly. She decided to search for the missing letter, hoping to clear the air and understand the truth. After a thorough search, Emma found the misplaced letter. When she finally read its contents, she was filled with relief and regret. The letter was warm and affectionate, just as Jane had always been with her. Emma felt ashamed of her doubts and misunderstandings. She quickly sought out Jane to apologize and explain the mix-up. Jane forgave her friend readily, understanding that mistakes happen and that true friendship could withstand challenges. With the misunderstanding resolved, Emma and Jane's friendship grew even stronger. They learned the value of open communication and trust in their bond. A delightful day in Highbury brought an invitation for a picnic at Box Hill, a beautiful spot nearby. Emma, always eager for fun and adventure, was excited about the outing. The picnic party included several friends, including Harriet, Jane, Mr. Knightley, and others from the village. They gathered their baskets and blankets, ready for a day of enjoyment in the great outdoors. As they reached Box Hill, the sun shone brightly, creating a perfect setting for their picnic. The group spread out their blankets and unpacked the delicious food they had brought along. However, as the day progressed, the atmosphere started to change. Emma, in a playful mood, began teasing and making jokes that were not well received by everyone. Her attempts at wit inadvertently hurt the feelings of others, and the mood turned tense. Mr. Knightley, ever observant, noticed the discomfort among the guests. He gently urged Emma to be more considerate of others' feelings and to avoid causing any distress. Emma felt chastened and realized her mistake. She understood that her playful banter had gone too far, and she regretted the hurt she had caused. To lighten the mood and mend the situation, Mr. Knightley suggested a game that brought laughter and camaraderie back to the group. Emma took his advice to heart and made an effort to be more thoughtful and kind in her interactions. As the day came to a close, the picnic party headed back to Highbury. The outing had its ups and downs, but it ultimately brought the group closer together, with a deeper understanding of each other's feelings. Emma reflected on the events of the day and the lessons she had learned. She realized that true wit and humor should never come at the expense of others' feelings. Instead, it should uplift and bring joy to everyone involved. In the quaint village of Highbury, a surprising event occurred that left Emma and her friends in a state of astonishment. One day, as Emma was going about her usual activities, she received unexpected news. Mr. Elton, the local vicar, had expressed his desire to propose to someone in the village. Emma couldn't believe her ears. She wondered who could be the lucky lady that had caught Mr. Elton's eye. To her surprise, she soon learned that it was none other than Harriet Smith. Emma was taken aback by the revelation. She hadn't anticipated Mr. Elton's affection for Harriet, 
and she felt torn between happiness for her friend and concern about the match. Harriet, on the other hand, was completely unaware of Mr. Elton's intentions. She saw him only as a friend and had no inkling of his romantic feelings. As the days passed, Mr. Elton's attentions towards Harriet became more evident. He showered her with compliments and flattery, hoping to win her heart. Emma felt torn about what to do. She didn't want to interfere in Harriet's feelings, but she also worried that Mr. Elton might not be the best match for her friend. One evening during a social gathering, Mr. Elton made his intentions known. He declared his love for Harriet, expecting her to reciprocate his feelings. However, to Mr. Elton's surprise, Harriet didn't respond as he had hoped. She was kind but firm in her rejection, explaining that she didn't share the same affection. Mr. Elton's proposal was met with disappointment, and he left the gathering in a huff. Emma felt a mix of emotions, relief for Harriet, yet guilty for her own role in encouraging Mr. Elton's advances. As the events unfolded, Emma realized that she had been blind to the true feelings of those around her. She learned the importance of understanding the hearts of her friends and respecting their wishes. In the charming village of Highbury, a heart-wrenching event unfolded that left the community in shock. After Mr. Elton's unsuccessful proposal to Harriet, he abruptly left Highbury, leaving behind a trail of disappointment and confusion. Emma felt guilty and responsible for Mr. Elton's broken heart. She couldn't help but wonder if her encouragement had led him to misinterpret Harriet's feelings. Harriet, on the other hand, was deeply hurt by the whole ordeal. She had valued Mr. Elton's friendship, but was unprepared for his sudden declaration of love. His departure left her feeling bewildered and heartbroken. As the news spread through Highbury, Emma felt the weight of her actions. She realized that her matchmaking attempts had caused more harm than good. She regretted meddling in Harriet's affairs and vowed to be more cautious in the future. Amidst the sadness and confusion, Mr. Knightley offered his support to both Emma and Harriet. He encouraged them to learn from the experience and grow stronger through adversity. As the days passed, the village began to heal from the aftermath of the broken engagement. Harriet found solace in the company of her friends, and Emma sought comfort in the guidance of Mr. Knightley. Through this difficult time, Emma learned a valuable lesson about the consequences of her actions. She understood the importance of considering the feelings of others and the impact of her words and deeds. Harriet, too, discovered her own strength and resilience. She realized that she deserved someone who would truly appreciate and cherish her for who she was. In the picturesque village of Highbury, a secret was lurking, waiting to be unveiled. Frank Churchill, the lively and charismatic young man, had always been a popular figure among the villagers. His cheerful demeanor and pleasant manners endeared him to all. However, little did anyone know that Frank was harboring a secret. He had been engaged to a young lady named Jane Fairfax, a fact he had kept hidden from everyone, including his family and friends. Jane Fairfax, the talented and accomplished newcomer, had captured Frank's heart. Their love had blossomed in secret, as they knew that their families would not approve of their match. As the days passed, Frank struggled to keep his feelings concealed. He longed to express his love openly, but the fear of disapproval and family expectations weighed heavily on his mind. Emma, always observant, noticed a change in Frank's behavior. She sensed that he was troubled by something, but she couldn't quite put her finger on the cause. As events unfolded, Frank's secret began to unravel. A chance encounter with Jane Fairfax brought forth the truth. Emma learned about their hidden engagement and the reasons behind their silence. Emma felt a mix of surprise and sympathy for the young couple. She understood the difficulties they faced and the sacrifices they had made to protect their love. As the secret became known to others, the village was abuzz with gossip and speculation. Some were shocked, 
while others expressed support for the young couple's bravery in defying societal expectations. Amidst the revelations, Frank and Jane found solace in the understanding of their closest friends. The truth, though challenging to confront, brought a sense of relief and a newfound bond between them. In the peaceful village of Highbury, an unexpected visitor arrived, bringing excitement and curiosity to Emma and her friends. One afternoon, as Emma was sitting in her garden, she heard a knock on the door. To her surprise, it was a visitor she hadn't expected, Mrs. Churchill, Frank Churchill's aunt. Mrs. Churchill was an elegant and sophisticated lady, but she was known to be rather demanding and difficult to please. Her arrival in Highbury was unexpected, and Emma couldn't help but wonder about the reason for her visit. As Mrs. Churchill entered the house, the atmosphere seemed tense. Emma noticed that Frank appeared anxious in his aunt's presence as if he wanted to please her at all costs. The visit continued with polite conversation and tea, but Emma sensed an undercurrent of tension. Mrs. Churchill seemed to have high expectations of Frank, and he seemed eager to meet them. As the afternoon progressed, Mrs. Churchill's health became a topic of concern. She had been suffering from an ailment, and her condition appeared to be delicate. Emma observed how Frank tried to take care of his aunt, attending to her needs and ensuring her comfort. It was evident that he cared deeply for her well-being. The unexpected visit left Emma with many questions. She wondered about the true nature of Mrs. Churchill's visit and the impact it would have on Frank's plans and his relationship with Jane Fairfax. As the day came to a close, Mrs. Churchill bid her farewells, and Frank saw her off with utmost care. The visit had been brief, but its implications lingered in the air. In the quaint village of Highbury, an eagerly awaited letter arrived, bearing news from Jane Fairfax. The contents of the letter brought a mix of surprise and intrigue to Emma and her friends. Jane's letter was filled with warm greetings and updates about her life. She expressed her gratitude for the kindness and friendship she had received in Highbury. As Emma read the letter, she noticed a hint of sadness in Jane's words. It seemed that Jane was facing challenges in her current situation and was finding it difficult to confide in others. Emma felt a pang of concern for her friend and wondered what could be troubling Jane. She longed to offer comfort and support, but also understood the importance of respecting Jane's privacy. Amidst the exchange of letters, the bond between Emma and Jane grew stronger. Emma cherished the connection they had, even though they were physically apart. The news of Jane's letter spread through Highbury, and everyone expressed their delight at hearing from the accomplished young woman. They knew how much Jane's friendship meant to Emma, and were pleased to see their bond flourishing. As the days passed, Emma found herself eagerly anticipating each new letter from Jane. She cherished the moments of connection and looked forward to the day when they would meet again in person. In the charming village of Highbury, a mystery surrounded Jane Fairfax, captivating Emma and her friends. As Jane's letters continued to arrive, Emma couldn't shake the feeling that something was amiss. There was an air of secrecy surrounding Jane's life, and Emma was determined to uncover the truth. She confided in Mr. Knightley about her suspicions. He agreed that Jane seemed to be hiding something, and they both felt a sense of concern for their dear friend. Emma couldn't help but wonder about the source of Jane's sadness and the challenges she faced. She wondered if there might be more to Jane's story than she had revealed in her letters. To gain insight into Jane's situation, Emma decided to pay a visit to Miss Bates, Jane's aunt and guardian. Miss Bates was known for her friendly nature and tendency to talk at length about various topics. During their visit, Emma delicately broached the subject of Jane. Miss Bates spoke fondly of her niece and expressed her pride in Jane's accomplishments. However, Emma sensed a trace of sorrow in Miss Bates's voice when she spoke about Jane's future plans. As Emma continued her investigation, she noticed that Jane seemed to be avoiding any mention of her own circumstances in her letters. Instead, 
She focused on her gratitude for her friend's kindness. Emma's concern for Jane deepened, and she couldn't help but feel a sense of responsibility for her friend's happiness. She longed to be of assistance, but struggled to find a way to help without prying into Jane's private affairs. As the days passed, Emma and Mr. Knightley continued to watch over Jane, offering their support and friendship. They hoped that in time, Jane would confide in them and share the burden she seemed to be carrying. In the picturesque village of Highbury, the holiday season brought joy and excitement, with preparations underway for the annual Christmas party. Emma and her friends were eagerly looking forward to the festive gathering, where the entire village would come together to celebrate. The party was to be held at the grand estate of the Weston family, who were well known for their hospitality and generosity. As the day of the party approached, the village buzzed with anticipation. Emma and her friends exchanged gifts and greetings, spreading the Christmas cheer. On the evening of the party, the grand hall at the Weston's estate was adorned with twinkling lights and festive decorations. The warmth of the fireplace and the aroma of delicious food filled the air. The guests arrived, dressed in their finest attire, and the hall was soon filled with laughter and merriment. There were games and dancing, and everyone joined in the festivities with enthusiasm. The spirit of Christmas brought a sense of unity and happiness among the villagers. Emma noticed that even Jane Fairfax, who had been reserved in her expressions, seemed to be enjoying herself, embracing the joyful atmosphere. As the night progressed, Mr. Knightley, who had a fondness for music, entertained the guests with his piano playing. His melodies filled the air and added to the enchanting ambiance of the party. The highlight of the evening was a surprise performance by Harriet Smith, who sang a beautiful carol that touched the hearts of everyone present. The Christmas party brought a sense of togetherness and camaraderie among the villagers. It was a night to remember, filled with laughter, music, and the warmth of friendship. As the night came to a close, the guests bid their farewells, feeling grateful for the joyful celebration and the memories created. In the idyllic village of Highbury, a revelation was about to unfold, surprising Emma and her friends. One afternoon, as Emma and Harriet were taking a leisurely stroll, they stumbled upon a letter that had been dropped on the ground. Curious, Emma picked up the letter and noticed that it was addressed to Mr. Dixon, a gentleman who had recently visited Highbury. Emma hesitated for a moment, but decided to read the letter to see if she could return it to its rightful owner. As she read the contents of the letter, Emma was taken aback. It revealed a secret romance between Jane Fairfax and Mr. Dixon during their time together in Weymouth. The revelation left Emma in shock. She hadn't anticipated such a connection between Jane and Mr. Dixon, and she couldn't help but wonder about the implications of their past relationship. Feeling conflicted, Emma decided to share the letter with Harriet, seeking her friend's advice on what to do. Harriet, too, was surprised by the contents of the letter. She understood Emma's dilemma and encouraged her to consider the best course of action. Emma knew that the information in the letter was sensitive and private. She didn't want to betray Jane's trust by revealing her secret romance to others. However, Emma also realized that keeping the information to herself might burden her with the weight of this secret. After much contemplation, Emma decided to talk to Jane directly. She believed that Jane deserved to know about the letter and the potential consequences of its contents becoming public. With a heavy heart, Emma approached Jane and gently broached the subject. Jane seemed taken aback but appreciated Emma's honesty. To Emma's surprise, Jane confessed that she had regretted her past relationship with Mr. Dixon and had hoped to keep it hidden. She thanked Emma for her honesty and agreed to handle the situation with utmost care. In the delightful village of Highbury, Mr. Knightley's wise advice played a significant role in the lives of Emma and her friends. As the days passed after the revelation of Jane's secret romance, Emma found herself pondering the situation. 
She felt a sense of responsibility towards Jane and wanted to ensure that her friend's feelings were protected. Feeling unsure of how to proceed, Emma sought solace in the company of Mr. Knightley. She trusted his judgment and knew that he would offer sound advice. One afternoon, as they strolled through the garden, Emma decided to confide in Mr. Knightley about her concerns for Jane. Mr. Knightley listened attentively to Emma's worries and gently offered his counsel. He reminded Emma of the importance of discretion and respect for others' privacy. He urged Emma not to interfere in Jane's affairs and to trust her friend to handle the situation in her own way. He encouraged Emma to be a supportive companion to Jane, rather than trying to control or influence her decisions. Emma realized that Mr. Knightley's advice was wise and sensible. She understood that being a true friend meant giving others the space to make their choices and offering support without judgment. With Mr. Knightley's guidance in mind, Emma approached her friendship with Jane with newfound understanding and sensitivity. As the days turned into weeks, Emma and Jane's friendship grew stronger. Emma focused on being a good listener and a source of comfort for her friend, knowing that she didn't need to pry into Jane's personal life. Through Mr. Knightley's advice, Emma learned the importance of empathy and trust in her relationships. She saw the positive impact of allowing others to confide in their own time and respecting their boundaries. In the enchanting village of Highbury, a sense of renewal filled the air as spring arrived bringing with it the promise of new beginnings. Emma felt a renewed energy as the days grew longer and the flowers began to bloom. She saw the beauty of nature mirrored in the potential for growth and change within herself. With Mr. Knightley's wise counsel in mind, Emma approached her friendships with a newfound sense of empathy and understanding. She continued to cherish her bond with Harriet offering support and encouragement in her pursuits. Emma also took care to respect Jane's privacy, understanding that true friendship meant allowing others to share their feelings when they were ready. As Emma's perspectives shifted, she found herself growing closer to Mr. Knightley. They shared many pleasant conversations and discovered a deeper connection as they appreciated each other's virtues and understanding. The village of Highbury was buzzing with excitement as various events and gatherings took place. Emma felt grateful for the warmth of her friendships and the sense of community that surrounded her. One evening, as Emma and Mr. Knightley took a leisurely stroll, they found themselves immersed in a heartfelt conversation. Mr. Knightley expressed his admiration for Emma's personal growth and her newfound consideration for others. Emma, in turn, thanked Mr. Knightley for his wise guidance and support, acknowledging the positive influence he had on her life. As the sun set over Highbury, Emma and Mr. Knightley stood side by side, feeling the gentle breeze of a new beginning. In the charming village of Highbury, a bittersweet moment approached, marking the end of one chapter and the beginning of another. As the seasons changed and summer approached, it was time for some of the villagers to bid farewell to their beloved Highbury. Mr. and Mrs. Weston, known for their warmth and hospitality, were preparing to leave the village. They were embarking on a new adventure as they planned to move to their son's estate. The news of their departure brought a mix of emotions among the villagers. While they were happy for the Weston's new journey, they also felt a sense of sadness at the prospect of saying goodbye to dear friends. Emma, in particular, was deeply affected by the news. The Westons had been like family to her, and their departure marked the end of an era in her life. Amidst the farewells and heartfelt goodbyes, the village of Highbury also welcomed new faces. A new family had moved into the neighborhood, and the arrival of newcomers brought a sense of excitement and curiosity. As the Westons prepared to leave, Emma found solace in the presence of Mr. Knightley, who offered his support during this emotional time. Mr. Knightley reminded Emma of the beauty of change and the opportunities that come with new beginnings. He assured her that while farewells could be difficult, 
They also open the door to fresh experiences and new friendships. With Mr. Knightley's encouragement, Emma began to embrace the idea of new horizons and the possibilities that lay ahead. As the Westons bid their final farewells, the village of Highbury came together to wish them well on their journey. Tears were shed, but there were also smiles and laughter as they celebrated the memories they had shared. As the sun set over Highbury, Emma stood with Mr. Knightley, feeling a mix of emotions. She knew that with each farewell came the promise of new beginnings and the hope of lasting connections.